to paraphrase the words of Joe DiMaggio, I try to keep in mind that there may be somebody here for their first time or their last time, and we owe it to them to do our best each and every night. And that's exactly what the Valley Cats players and staff did for the fans. What a better way to celebrate the final home game but by honoring the fans for life. It was the final game of a three-game homestand between the short-season Cinque affiliate of the Tampa Bay Rays, the Hudson Valley Renegades, and the Tri-City Valley Cats. 6,215 people came to witness what was unbeknownst to them to be one of the most outstanding games of the year and maybe in minor league baseball this season. As soon as the fans crossed into the stadium hearing bad karma, they were juiced. And if that wasn't enough, players greeted fans by the main entrance, giving autographs and taking pictures. Another way the Cats exemplify great community responsibility. The Valley Cats do so much for the community and they have the best fans in the world. I mean, to see them come out in such big numbers is exciting. And To be exact, Fan Appreciation Night brought the season attendance total to an all-time high of 155,315. It was not hard for local politicians to take notice. I really enjoy coming to the Joe to see uh, the Valley Cats baseball. The team has done a great job developing fans for life, and it's apparent each and every game when crowds pack the, the stadium and enjoy all the activities during the game. Folks, this game was dramatic. Jake Buchanan took the bump and dealt the heat. Good night, Brian Bryles. Nick Schwanner, take a whiff. With the real Steve Tinoco, please sit down. Derek Dietrich, thank you for coming. Hope to see you again. Brian Bryles came up and went down on strikes once again. And so did Elias Otero, who took a swing and got some air. In all, Jake Buchanan finished with eight strikeouts across five innings pitched. In the second inning, with two on and one out, Jackie Healy blasted a fly ball over the center field fence to give the Cats a 3-0 advantage. Elias Otero might have struck out twice, but on this at-bat, he got the long ball and crushed it into the Valley Cats' bullpen. Entering the ninth, the game was tied. The moon crept in and more and more fans took advantage of the final game in the stadium for 2010. The Cats were not in the mood to have to go on a road trip to end the season with a lot of exhausted players in the middle of a big playoff push. And after 4 hours and 25 minutes, Adam Billy got his biggest and team leading third hit, a single to right field which drove home Chris Wallace giving the Valley Cats a thrilling 5-4 victory in the 14th inning. One way to give the fans a feeling of excitement as the playoff races will be decided in the upcoming weeks. Could there be a Valley Cats playoff home game? Only time will tell. But what a year for Valley Cats baseball. Thank you all for making this the best year of Valley Cats baseball. For Valley Cats Network, Elliot Travis.